good. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I want to especially thank uh, my colleagues, Senators Hatch, Enzi, and Corker, for joining us today. It is their hard work that has led us to the point that we are at today where we can talk about the previous six months in the Senate. We passed a budget, balanced budget, for the first time in a decade. Thank you, Senator Enzi, for that. Thank you. I'm pleased to be a part of the team that's uh, helping the Senate to operate the way the Senate used to when it was effective and uh, have already got good results this year. Uh, in the Budget Committee, we passed the first balanced 10-year budget since 2001. In fact, it was the first budget in the last five years. And uh, we balanced the budget in that 10-year window without raising taxes. We assured that there'd be a strong national defense. We strengthened Medicare. We protected Social Security. And uh, we support a healthier economy. It, it uh, has been evaluated that that will result in several million more jobs and uh, a much stronger economy by about $400 billion. Of course, to get $400 billion, according to OMB, all we have to do is increase the um, production of the United States by 1%. It's supposed to be 12 separate bills passed, and uh, in the last five years, that would be 60 bills if we'd done all 12 of them each of the five years. We did three. One year, the only bill that was brought up was the transportation bill, and the leader didn't like the First Amendment, so he pulled the bill down. He never brought that one up again, nor did he bring up any others. That's not how the Senate's supposed to work. The appropriations is one of our main challenges, and uh, by having a, a budget out there, they could get to work right away and get more jobs for, for Americans. Um, our committee's working on a few other projects. Yesterday, we held the first joint Homeland Security and Budget Committee hearing on a regulatory budget. One of, one of the things we discovered during the budget process is that there are authorizations by the committees that have expired. That's the authority to go ahead and spend the money. And uh, I found that there were 260 authorizations that had expired that we're still spending money on. And in some cases are spending four times as much money as was originally authorized for that. How much does that come to? $293.5 billion a year. So we ought to go back and look at some of those laws that we haven't taken a look at since some, one since 1983. We are an equal branch of government, not subject to the president. What we have to do is put on his desk what we think is right, then he can do what he thinks is right.